Hello everybody, uh, here OG, Jay and Johan, and we have updates for everybody. So to start the first segment, uh, I think Johan has an official communication for everybody. Yeah, for everybody wondering what uh, next year for OG Dota will, will look like, it's going to be a different time, it's going to be a different roster. I'm personally taking at least a year off. I'm going to be taking a health break, so to speak, challenge of, of competing at the highest level and grinding and always trying to be the best and to, to do your best. It's, it's tiresome, it's rough, and I need to reevaluate things uh, at, a, at a future time. For now, all I know is I need a break. Yeah. yeah. To try to explain a little bit more, uh, when we, I think people don't sometimes understand the incredible amount of pressure that you guys go through. And I think that you, you've always been able to tell me, but the idea is never really been able to disconnect. Yeah. For you, Dota is in your mind, is the whole time, 24 seven, every day. You finish one TI and you're already thinking about what's happening on the next TI. And it's been for you like, what, 10 years of this? Probably more, like chasing the goal has been uh, more or less 15 year ordeal uh, yeah. around that. Some people probably manage better how to shut off and disconnect and some people are more like me where once you go for it and you fully commit there's almost nothing else going on in your life and the amount of sacrifices you have to make the list is long the list is very very long and it becomes too much it boils over uh, and at those moments it starts becoming pretty unhealthy the level of stress go goes up and you have to learn to live with it you don't really have time to to deal with it the grind gets really intense and these past two years have been extra intense especially with Corona and not having the LAN events. There was no no easy way to also get to TI and to try the rosters like we usually do and to develop the teams. It's been challenging. It, it's also been a lot of fun. It's not been all bad, you know, but it has definitely been too much at the same time. So how much do you think that, for example, winning TI twice impacted either your longevity or shortened longevity of your career? Um, there's definitely something that comes with winning TI where you <laughs> You can get a boost and you can see the world different. As a competitor, it can give you a lot of motivation to try and see if you can top yourself or do it again or do the impossible, like, which would be to win it again and again and again. But at the same time, what it takes to get there, what it takes to win, it's a lot of sacrifices. Winning TI, I believe, asks everything of you. You really have to give it your all if you want to reliably win it. And when we did it both times, I felt like it took everything from, well, off me, everything I had to give. It increased and decreased it, probably decreases it more in, in some sense, okay. but still the motivation and the fire it can give you as a competitor, it can, it can push you to next year, it can push you to the next one. But uh, even if we would have won this year, I, I would have needed to reevaluate. And I think that, I mean, there's a lot of people obviously that follow us and you know, we always share obviously the, the fun part of it. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, it is fun. Just because it's fun doesn't mean that it's not exhausting. Yep. They're the two different yep. concepts, yep. you know? Like, I know like everybody are, will be thinking, well, you play video games, but we play video games and everybody plays video games. Yes, but I think that when you, when you are all the way on the top, obviously you live by those values that you have installed. And because you are in a way the leader of the team, you have to live by those values all the time in front of everybody. One of the biggest asks is having that motivation and energy to keep improving day by day yeah. because Dota is and more so now than it used to be is relentless in the practice regime that you also have to upkeep you don't have an easy qualify to TI like you need to do really well at a major to secure your spot and to even secure yourself for a major there's no such thing you have to qualify for each one there's a lot of ask for you to always perform you have so many teams yeah. always grinding always like trying their hardest and even if you are the best even if you are really good you don't get to breathe, you don't get to rest. Each day of practice, of scrimming is so important and you have to sometimes give the team as much as you can, give them extra uh, to make this a good day, to make it a fruitful day. And Sometimes you don't have more to give and they have to, to give extra and all this extra, extra and doing your best, it, uh, it becomes a uh, yeah, big drain of, of energy and at some point you can't do it anymore. Like after every TI we have, a, I have and it's not just for me, a two week at least recovery period of sleeping and, and that's basically it sleeping and eating and now i feel like i need much more time for to reignite the flame or if there's going to be a, a next season where i'm going to feel as fired up i need to relax need okay. to chill out so for us what we're trying to tell right now people is like look the official statement is that you are taking at least a year off at least 
I think this year was, was rough for many Dota players, Dota teams, less for, for some. I would say TI was a very nice experience, regardless uh, of the crowd and regardless of the corona. It was just nice to be back at the LAN event yeah, after two years time. <laughs> and with, it, with the boys and with the team and getting that feeling again. It was, it was good, but it's a little bit of a bittersweet yeah. uh, thing to not have the crowd, to not have the full LAN experience, to not have the LAN year. But, a lot of good memories. I wouldn't change anything. The, the journeys, the, the, the trials, the errors. Um, yeah, the good times, the bad times. I, I'm very content, I'm very happy. I'm lucky to have played with the guys that we, we played with for the last two years. Feel fulfilled. Yeah.